TV streaming news is where we're beginning. And in TV streaming, we have a large follow-up section. We also have a large news section. So follow-ups for TV streaming. We have a new teaser trailer for Are You Afraid of the Dark? This is the second season of the reboot series over on Nickelodeon. First season was only three episodes. Second season, I think, is going to be Five, but don't hold me to that because I didn't put that in the notes. But check out the teaser. It's going to be cool. We're moving on. Next, we're talking about Walking Dead. This one's very, very brief. We do have the official announcement that production is underway on season 11, so that's pretty awesome. Moving next into The Last of Us, we have The Last of Us series has made two casting announcements over the last couple of days. First being Pedro Pascal has been cast as Joel, as well as, uh, what's her name? Ellie has been announced as Bella Ramsey. If you don't know that name you should she was Leanna Marmot from Game of Thrones the the little bear yes she is going to be Ellie so that's pretty freaking awesome so that is our follow-up section let's come out swinging and uh, come out of the gate swinging with the news we're going right into Mandalorian news this one if you have been living under a rock you haven't heard but there is more to the story than just what you have heard about Mandalorian and Gina Carano and Cara Dune and the firing of of Gina Carano. So, I uh, again, this is huge. Everyone is talking about this. So, I, my spin on this, we, we know that Gina Carano has been fired. Um, there is rumors around this, so definitely stick around to the end of the show because there is going to be some a whole lot of speculation, and a, apparently a few sources are saying different things. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so if you don't know why Gina Carano has been fired, because all you've heard is she made anti-Semitic remarks, then you have been informed incorrectly. She made a very flimsy comparison between being conservative... And being made other, much like uh, the the victims of WW two were in, in around that time. So without using too harsh of vocabulary, so that we don't get flagged on certain uh, outlets, um, it was it was a poor comparison, but it was no less incendiary than. Anything Pedro Pascal has said over the last two and a half years, approximately, no less incendiary than anything a lot of Disney employees, f- people who were who made incendiary comments and then were moments later hired by Disney, it was it was by any objective standard less uh, offensive or incendiary than anything that these people have made, but because. Gino Carano does not sit well with some of the higher ups. Uh, it seems, namely Kathleen Kennedy. Then this was their excuse to get rid of her. Um, I, I know I'm being biased with this because I am, you know, relatively conservative. But it just seems like I wouldn't have said the thing that she said. I don't necessarily believe the thing that she said. There is a seed of truth to the fact that 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 is the beginning of how you create. Uh, a, a movement of making people less than human. Um, I don't think that is the direction it's going necessarily, but again, we're not getting into that. It's politics and whatever. So uh, Gina Carano was, was fired for making World War II references in correlation to current happenings when just months ago, Pedro Pascal straight up called people Nazis and compared the things they're doing to concentration camps, and he's perfectly fine. So again, uh, I, I think it's I think it's a little one sided. We're gonna move right along. There has been a, a kind of update to this in the last few hours, in that Gina Carano has signed a new movie deal uh, with The Daily Wire, which is a conservative news outlet. Um, very interesting. They ha- they did. Just just put out their first movie, uh, Run Fight, or Run Hide Fight, uh, not that long ago. It was actually pretty good. If you like good action movies, it's not the greatest. It's I mean, wouldn't say it's going to change cinema, but it's it's definitely stands up to anything that's come out in the last five to ten years. So, if you have the opportunity, go check that out. And we will be keeping tabs on whatever this Gina Carano project becomes with the Daily Wire. As we move on, we're going to be moving on. Now we're talking. Now about a new series called The Man Who Fell to Earth. It's coming to Paramount+. Plus. Remember, Paramount+, Plus is taking the place of CBS All Access. 
reasons. Um, the Man Who Fell to Earth is based on a novel that came out in 1963. It's also going to be based on the David Bowie movie that came out in 1976 that was also based on the novel. This one's going to be a little bit of a different interpretation of that novel, and it's going to be starring Chuedil. I'm, I really apologize. I can never pronounce his name proper, his first name anyway. Uh, Chuedil Ejiofor, uh, the bad guy, the one of the main villains from the Firefly movie, or the Serenity movie, Firefly series, I guess. Serenity movie. Uh, and it's going to be, sh the showrunner for this project is going to be Alex Kurtzman. Very interestingly, uh, Paramount Plus very actively pursued this once Hulu announced that they were no longer going to be pursuing this. So this has been in the works for a little bit. Very excited to see what happens, because I really love Ezio 4. I think he is a... Fantastic actor. The man is brilliant. All right, moving right along, we are talking about Overlook Hotel is a new, also HBO Max series that is coming out. J.J. Uh, Abrams, Bad Robot, is going to be producing. Uh, it sounded like Abrams was going to be showrunning. Obviously, this is going to be based on the Shining books uh, from Stephen King. It's going to be a prequel, though, to the Shining movie and the actual Shining book how it's going to interplay with any of the, the words that, that Stephen King wrote. We don't know yet, but we will be keeping tabs. We're moving right along. Like I said, gotta go fast. Uh, Clue is the next piece. We have, not only do we have the movie that is in the works, the reboot movie, but now there's an announcement that there's going to be an animated series. Uh, Deadline is reporting it's an animated series. That's all we really know. That's all I can tell you. We're moving on. <laughs> next, we're talking very slightly more meta about HBO Max. Uh, HBO Max has made a couple of new announcements for new animated series that they are calling adult, quote-unquote, adult-oriented animated series, one of which is dealing with Velma from Scooby-Doo. Very interesting there. Uh, showrunner, for, or a producer, rather, executive producer on this is going to be Mindy Kaling. Mindy Kaling is also going to be the voice of Velma. I don't know how I feel about that. Mindy Kaling is pretty good at a lot of things. I loved her in The Office. I've loved her in quite a few movies where she kind of plays a uh, side character to the main things going on. As a main actor, I feel like she can get on the nerves a little bit. Um, we'll see. I love the character of Velma. Velma was always one of my favorites when I watched Scooby-Doo as a kid, so uh, yeah, here we go. And the other half of this, sorry, the other half of this one is uh, Clone High. Clone High is getting rebooted on HBO Max, and this also is under this quote-unquote adult-oriented animation series banner that they've announced. We don't know a whole lot about the Clone High piece just yet. We will be keeping tabs on it, and if they announce anything else, because they made it sound like there's going to be a number of these announcements over the next little while. Uh, and then our final piece in TV streaming has to do with the Red Wall series. Brian Jacques uh, anthropomorphic animal uh, fantasy series that is like 20 plus books long is going to Netflix. Now, this is not the first time that this series has been adapted into an animated series. It is going to be an animated series over at Netflix. I don't know if I said that just a moment ago. Um, but the reason this is significant is because this is the first time that the entire 20 plus book catalog has been given to one creation studio, uh, the, the rights of which anyway, have been given to one studio. So the way this is going to start is this is going to break the mold for Netflix. So this is going to be the first actual announced instance of them starting with a movie and then spinning that movie into a series. So exactly how that's going to work, we will keep tabs on and all of that jazz that though is the end of the tv streaming section 